Okay, we're looking at a Hewlett Packard 5303B with a 5300A measuring system uh, top side. It's actually a dual unit. The um, measuring system comes with the uh, digital display on the top, and then you get different plugins for the bottom to uh, turn the device into different kinds of units. So you could actually buy other kind of plugins on eBay and maybe turn this thing into. Uh, um, a voltmeter or something like that. Um, we have a 525 megahertz um, counter um, plug-in right now. Reads 80 megahertz on the first uh, set of ranges and then has a 525 megahertz prescaler. It's in uh, very good condition. Uh, for its age it's it's quite good. The, uh, the buttons show a little bit of wear on them but uh, not terrible. And the case um, had a few scratches on it, so we gave it a new paint job. And I think you would admit uh, or agree that it actually turned out very, very nice. The unit looks new, in fact. Uh, if it wasn't for the uh, little bit of wear on the, on the push buttons, you'd be hard to tell that it wasn't uh, a fairly new unit. Has a working stand. We're going to be taking uh, this unit through its paces and uh, show you that not only is it uh, good looking, but uh, it actually performs extremely well. So bear with me and we'll hook it up. Okay, so we have this uh, Hewlett Packard 5303B uh, 525 megahertz counter hooked up to a rubidium frequency standard which is putting out 10 megahertz to an extremely accurate figure and uh, our counter is reading 9,999,990 and if we switch to the next lowest scale 8.4 so we are 1.6 to 1.7 Hertz away from being a perfect 10 megahertz which is extremely good this unit was only just switched on uh, not more than 10 minutes ago and uh, it's remarkable uh, accuracy okay so we're gonna take the thing through its paces and just show that it's accurate at other frequencies and we'll be using this PTS 500 for the uh, for the higher frequencies. So, bear with me. Okay, well, I've got the HP 5303B connected to a PTS 500 signal generator, signal synthesizer to be exact. It's a digital synthesizer. It's very accurate. Um, doesn't quite have the accuracy of the rubidium, but we used the rubidium already to show you that the uh, counter is already in itself uh, very accurate like to within uh, roughly a hertz of 10 megahertz and uh, but the PTS will provide accurate signals uh, from near 500 uh, megahertz down and we're going to observe the response of the counter as I uh, traverse those frequencies so let's let's start out we are at uh, 490 megahertz right now, as you can see. I'm going to go to 390. 290. 190. Let's go to 90. 80. 70. All right, at this point, I need to switch my inputs from the 525 megahertz to the 80 megahertz input. And we can uh, increase our resolution by going to the next step down. All right, we are at uh, 69, 999.9, so 70 megahertz within a digit. 
There's 60. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Now that's the limit of the PTS. To go lower, we'd have to switch generators. And we'll do that. All right, we are now operating from the HP 3320 synthesizer. It'll produce uh, frequencies from 10 megahertz down to, I don't know, about a quarter of a hertz, something like that, very accurately. And uh, so we're going to pick up at the 1 megahertz point where we left off with the PTS, and we'll take her down. Right now we are at 1 megahertz. There's 900 kilohertz, 800. We can actually let's see if I increase my resolution. All right, good. We'll get updated every second, so that's good. Here's 700. Six hundred, five hundred, four hundred, three hundred, two hundred, one hundred. 900, oh, excuse me, this would be um, 90,000 hertz, 80,000, 70,000, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 9,000, 8,000, 7,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000, 900, 800, 700, 600, 500, 400, 300, 200, 100, 90, 80, 70, 
60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Nine hertz, eight hertz, seven hertz, six hertz, five hertz, four hertz, three hertz. Two hertz. I think we just might be at the limit here. Yep. So we read down to two hertz. Okay, so we were accurately able to read uh, frequencies from 500 megahertz all the way down to two hertz and uh, you saw it live. We also uh, verified uh, 10 megahertz to within uh, about a hertz. So we are definitely in calibration. The unit is a very attractive unit. Nice new paint job. Good looking front panel. Does have a little scratch. Not much visible, but, but it's there on the lens. Uh, but all in all, a beautiful instrument and uh, I think you'll be happy to have it. So I will be uh, providing a nice set of BNC to Gator Clip test leads with the unit. And, uh, and I also have um, the 5300 which is the top digital reading section. I have the manual for that but I'll provide on the uh, CD. I was not able to come up with a manual for the 5303 which is the bottom frequency plug-in uh, but it is available from uh, Q service for about $9.99 so you might save yourself some time if you are interested in picking up one. Uh, since the unit was working wonderfully and I didn't I didn't need it <clears throat> I didn't buy it for myself so so uh, I wish you luck in your bidding and uh, thank you for listening <laughs>